before you put on a sample, it's a good idea to check whether the sample holder is in the proper position. So to do that, I strongly recommend you switch to the 10x objective by clicking on the 10x here. And then that you lower the objective fully by pressing load position. Load position drops the objective all the way to the bottom. The reason I recommend you do this is the 10x is one of our shorter objectives. And so this gives us room to check whether this is in the proper position, lowering the risks of banging this into an expensive piece of metal and glass. So what you wanna do is check that this is level and that it's not moving and that it's clean. So <clears throat> you wanna check these rims here, which is where your sample is gonna go. And what you want to avoid is a situation where this is at an angle, so sort of like that, which will tilt your sample, or loose altogether, okay? Um, if those are the case, it's loose, it's at an angle, or it's dirty, you can remove it just by popping it out. So if it were in, we can remove it just by pulling on this. We can clean it if we have to, and then we'll put it back on by putting it here and you can see it's important to have that lowered and on the 10x so that when we place it like this, it doesn't bang into the objective. And then we gently push from right to left and that will slide this and eventually push against these two springs and lock it into position. So I'm gonna do that and then make sure that it is all the way at the bottom. With that, we now know that the state, the, the um, the sample holder is properly in place and we can put on our sample. Um, because we had lowered the objective, we can now raise the objective back to the working position on the touch screen by pressing not the biggest button, but the one with the triangle and the line. If you press that, the objective, you heard a little noise, it went right back up to um, the working position, which is closer to where the sample would be in focus.